Fusion reactors, the technology that always seems to be five years away from us since the 1950s. Many people view it as the solution to most of humanity's problems. If you think about it, energy is needed to do almost everything. If a country doesn't have enough energy, it is in real trouble as it has to buy it from its neighbors. That makes energy sources one of the leading causes of conflicts in the world. Sociology aside, what even is a fusion reaction? There are two basic types of fusion. The first one is fusion that involves a conversion between protons and neutrons. This is essential for the initiation of star burning. And the second is fusion that preserves the number of protons and neutrons. This reaction can be practically used by humans. For example, to generate energy we could use this reaction between hydrogen isotopes, deuterium and tritium. As you can see, one deuterium and one tritium gives us one helium and one neutron. We also receive a massive amount of energy as a result. If you're wondering where the energy is coming from in reactions like these, it is released if the total mass of the resultant particles is smaller than the mass of the initial reactants of the reaction. This is a direct result of Einstein's famous formula, E equals mc squared. As you can see, it ties together energy and mass. However, making this reaction commercially viable is a massive challenge. Deuterium and tritium plasma must be heated to temperatures at which nuclear fusion is strong, typically greater than 75 million degrees Kelvin. For contrast, the surface of the sun is quite a bit cooler. It is only about 5800 Kelvin. One of the approaches to confine this extremely hot reaction and push the atoms together is called magnetic confinement. In this method, extremely strong magnetic fields are used to force the reaction to stay in one place. As you can see, this concept is simple, but the execution is a massive technical challenge. If you want to do some reading on this subject, I recommend you google tokamak and ITER. That would be a good start. This has been Nuclear Fusion in 100 seconds. Subscribe, like and comment to see more and see you in the next one.